Hello everyone. Okay, now we are going to solve practice problem 8.2 from Sadiku book. And this is the circuit. We have two current source and some capacitor, inductor, and resistor. So this is an RLC circuit. And we are asked to find these values, a lot of values. Okay, so now let's check A first. So we are asked to find IL at 0 plus. IL is here, VC at 0 plus, and VR at 0 plus. And remember, because the physical value of capacitor and inductor, the current and source cannot change instantaneously. So we can approach from the right and from the left, and they will be always the same. Okay, now let's do problem A first. And that all happens when T is less than zero. Okay, when T is less than zero, because we have UT here, and remember that UT is equal to zero when T is less than zero, and one when T is greater than or equal zero. So we will have this current source supplying zero ampere when t is less than zero so this current source so that for ut current source become open circuit when t is less than zero okay and assuming this happens for a long time we have already a dc condition so we'll have dc condition and dc condition means that inductor becomes short circuit short circuit and a capacitor becomes open circuit Okay, so now we need to redraw the circuit according to this condition. So we will have this 6 ampere current source. This, this one will be will be changed by short circuit and this capacitor will be changed by open circuit. So now let's redraw the circuit. Okay, so now Plugging these conditions, our circuit becomes like this, a very strange circuit. But yeah, this is what is it. So we will have this one. The easiest value to obtain is this IL. So IL, IL at 0 minus because T is less than 0. IL is this current, 6 ampere, but to the opposite direction. So we will have IL0 will be minus 6 ampere. And remember, because the current in inductor cannot change instantaneously, we will have this the same as IL0 plus will be equal to minus 6 ampere. So we have found our first target. So I will have this one minus 6 ampere. Okay, now let's find out Vc0 plus and Vr0 plus. Okay, now let's put this as our ground. This node here as our ground. Okay, and because this is shorted, this is also our ground. And because this is short circuit, all the current will be passed through here and not here. So the voltage here will be the same as this. So the voltage here will be the same as this node. So we will have Vr at 0 minus. So we will have the potential difference of this and this and because this is the ground and this is also the same voltage we will have zero four. and remember because the voltage cannot change instantaneously we can also approach from the right so we'll have zero four 
so we'll have zero fold here I mean this one for VR zero fold okay and for VC actually it's the same because this is our ground and remember that this node is the same as this node which is also our ground so v VC VC at zero minus will be zero fold and that means that we have VC at zero plus is also zero fold because the voltage in capacitor cannot change instantaneously okay now we have found all the answer for problem a we need to find the answer for problem b okay now for problem b let's do some analysis we need to have a circuit at zero plus at zero plus uh, but the value is still the same as this this one the initial value okay so now let's redraw the circuit so at t is equal to zero at some moment from the right okay now we have this current source is active so we'll have a current source there so we'll have four for ampere and then we will have that capacitor and that will be 1 over 3 farad and this one will be 5 ohm and this one will be to Henry and this one will be six ampere okay so far so good now let's see this inductor here and remember that the voltage in an inductor is L di over dt and we want to find out dil of 0 plus so you have dil of 0 plus over dt so this can move to left hand side so we'll have vl here vl at 0 plus divided by our inductance values and we already know our inductance values which is 2 henry so let's just divide it by 2 and vl what is vl vl is, uh, VL is the value from the voltage here so this is vl and how to find it remember at this case at t is less than zero this voltage here is zero so the voltage here is zero it's still zero because it's just open the switch just open so this still zero and so all the current will be this four ampere here will be flowing from this one and remember that i see i see here is also zero so the current will go there at this resistor at t is zero plus so the current that pass through this resistance here is four ampere and that means that we can apply ohm's law here so we'll have four multiplied by five so the v here is 20. Okay, now because this is our ground this bottom is our ground and we need to find out VL VL is this one is 0 and this is also 0 so we'll have 0 minus 0 is divided by 2 so we'll have 0 ampere over second 
So for this one, I will have zero ampere over second. Okay, now let's move on to the next questions. Okay. So we will need to find dvc of zero plus over dt. Okay, remember that i of capacitor is c dv over dt. Okay, so this one is the i c and this one is vc. Okay, we can rearrange this so we will have dvc over dt, and we are looking at time zero is equal to IC 0 plus divided by the value of the capacitor. Okay, we know the value of capacitor is one third. Okay, so now let's write that first. One third. And IC, we already calculate the IC here. So we'll have four. Oh, I made a typo here this value of capacitor so it will be 1 over 5 so this will be 1 fifth here and we know that IC IC is 4 ampere here and 4 divided by 1 over 5 is equal to 4 multiplied by 5 and that will be 20 and the unit is 4 over second so I will have this one will be 12 for offer second okay now we are need we need to find out the value of dvr0 plus offer dt okay so now dvr0 plus offer dt Okay, now we have the voltage here is constant actually, which is 20 volt. Yeah, 20 volt. And if we take the derivative of a constant, it will be zero. So this is just d over dt of vr0 plus, vr0 plus is this one, 20 minus zero. And this is a constant, so the derivative if of a constant will be zero. So we, I will have zero, and the unit is four over second. So we have solved all the question for A and D. Okay. So the last thing we need to do is to solve for problem C. Okay, so now we need a totally new circuit for problem C. Okay, so now for problem C, we will have the value at T is equal infinity. Okay, at T is equal to infinity, the capacitor. will be open circuit again and then the inductor will be short circuit again but now we have this for ut current source is becomes 4 ampere current source why because t is equal infinity is larger than zero so we will have four okay so now let's redraw the circuit according to this condition okay now we have drawn the circuit that satisfy these three assumptions and okay this is rather strange circuits and we need to be careful here okay let's set this as our ground here and if we set loops okay let me use another color okay let's set the loops here and this loop here 
So this loop here is 4 ampere. The value here is 4 ampere and this loop here is 6 ampere because of this current source. And so we can say that IL is the resultant of this loops so we will have four here four is the current that the same direction with il and this six ampere is going to the opposite direction so we'll have four minus six and that will be minus two so here we'll have il at infinity is equal to minus two so we will have this one is minus 2 and the unit is ampere okay now we need to find out vc here vc here and vc will be the same as vr right why because this is our ground and vc is relative to the ground and because this is shorted this is also our ground so the voltage here is zero the voltage as this node is zero so v here is zero okay now because that voltage here is zero we can find the voltage at this node using ohm's law okay this four ampere pass through this resistor so we will have Vr is equal to this current here, 4 multiplied by 5. So we'll have 20 volt. 20 volt and remember that Vc is the same as Vr. So we'll have this is also 20 volt. So we'll have this Vc at infinity is 20 volt and Vr at infinity is 20 volt. So we have completed all the values that are that were asked by the problems. Okay, hopefully this helps you and this is a good place to say goodbye. Bye bye.